Good day. Good evening, Philippines. This is Mike Pado once again, returning to our tropical weather analysis for this Monday through Wednesday, August 31 to September 2, 2020. And this is brought to you by Typhoon2000.com, the Philippines' first website on tropical cyclones. Let's begin with our update. Here is the uh, latest graph set beginning today, Monday, until tomorrow, Tuesday. We have seen uh, Maisak rapidly becoming a Category 3 typhoon with winds of now reaching around 185 kph, 1 minute average, and casting us up to more than 200 km per hour. Maisak, with the local name Julian, is expected to exit the northern border of the Philippine Area of Responsibility tonight and will uh, pass just to the west of Okinawa by tomorrow morning and will uh, track towards the north-northeast in the general direction of southeastern Korea so expect some landfalling cyclone once again over the Korean Peninsula but now it's over the southeastern coastline which includes the city of Busan so it will make landfall here within the next couple of days and as the system moves upward, you can see the weak habagat or the southwesterly surface wind flow affecting most parts of the country and will bring scattered, isolated scattered thunderstorms across the western sections of Luzon and also some portions of western Visayas and Mimaropa, while the rest will have partly cloudy, cloudy skies with some breezy condition from the southwest. The southwest monsoon is not that strong as of this time due to the weakened modern Julian oscillation. And uh, outside of the Philippine area of responsibility, we are eyeing another LPA here. This is 95W. It's been there for the past few days and it's now an active one with high chance of becoming a tropical cyclone within the next 12 to 24 hours. And this system will follow the track of my sack with a different uh, movement towards the north-northwest with a possible landfall across southern Japan. So folks living in the southern coastline of Japan, please be prepared with this powerful or potential powerful system based on the ECMWF and the GFS model. They both agreed that this might become a very large and powerful storm that could impact the southern coastline of Japan within the next few days uh, so please take all necessary precautions by the way here to the south of Yap we have another low pressure area but this is a shallow one various uh, reliable computer models which includes the ECMWF and GFS model does not show any development of this LPA and in the next couple of days this will eventually dissipate as it moves slowly towards the west so that's good news for the Philippine Islands so far, that's the latest from our graph set. As we look at our fast animation, you can see here the accelerating movement of Typhoon Maisak, which is now a Category 3 Typhoon and could intensify it further into near Super Typhoon strength of winds of 220 kph. 240 is the uh, threshold for a Super Typhoon, so it will be somewhere along uh, those range, 220 to 230 and it will pass over to the west of Okinawa by tomorrow morning. You can see here the uh, ragged eye forming as we speak. And uh, here it comes and the other LPA rapidly forming to the southeast of Iwato, formerly Iwo Jima Island. And this system will eventually track to, towards the southwest and eventually move towards the north and it might not enter the Philippine area of responsibility so uh, the name Christine which will be the next in line after Julian will not be named if ever this system will not enter the Philippine area of responsibility as uh, so what the computer model says and so far that's the uh, uh, fast animation as we uh, move into our zoom in satellite animation you can clearly see here the uh, Southwesterly wind flow generating some localized thunderstorms, isolated to scattered across most parts of northern and uh, central Luzon, and also here across the western sections of the Visayas. While local convective thunderstorms will continue to occur across Mindanao as they are near the equator, these areas will are prone to localized thunderstorms, especially during this time of the 
year. Here comes the LPA and it's no longer impressive when it comes to formation. And as we look at our uh, various Asian agencies flocks of uh, tropical or typhoon Maisak. And you can see here they all agree it will track to the northwest briefly. After 24 hours it will track to the north northeast making landfall over southeastern portion of South Korea. And as you look at our various computer models, it's all the same, similar track. They all agree that it will track towards southeastern Korea. And as we look at our 48-hour uh, rainfall, wind, and pressure forecast from ECMWF, courtesy of windy.com, tomorrow uh, afternoon, we could still see some scattered isolated thunderstorms across most parts of northern and central Luzon. And also some local thunderstorms across Visayas and Palawan and also across Mindanao. And on uh, Wednesday afternoon, still some afternoon thunderstorms will be expected in some to most parts of Luzon, including uh, portions of the Bicol region, Visayas, Palawan, and Mindanao. So far, back to the normal weather conditions. Every afternoon or evening, we could expect these uh, isolated to scattered rain showers and thunderstorms. And this is still uh, brought about by the local convection and this uh, weak habagat on the southwesterly surface wind flow. Now let's zoom it out uh, to show you the uh, another uh, tropical cyclone. So this is the other one. And as we move towards Wednesday, we can, uh, and Thursday, you can see the other one moving closer to the northeastern border of the Philippine area of responsibility but on Friday it will start to slow down and eventually move towards the uh, north in the general direction of Japan so probably this weekend it will make landfall okay over the uh, area of Shikuku or Kyushu Japan so uh, just check out the Japan Meteorological Agency and our website typhoon2000.com, typhoon2000.ph for the latest of the various uh, uh, Asian agencies' tracks on these tropical cyclones which is heading towards East Asia. Okay, so there you go. That's the latest from typhoon2000.com and we'll be returning again on Wednesday to give you more weather updates. From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Pado reporting. Stay safe always. Be hashtag weatherwiser, hashtag typhoonwiser, and thank you for watching our weather channel.